Hey, a friend, Chris here from MyLogicProRules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro. Today, I want to talk about what I believe is one of the most fundamental, essential things to know in Logic Pro for Mac, and that's the ability to zoom, zooming in and out of the tracks area, the live loops grid, the various editors. And again, we're talking Logic Pro for Mac because in Logic Pro for iPad, we're blessed with the ability to just place our fingers on the screen. And then when you want to zoom in, you can just expand like this. If you want to zoom out, you can contract. It's very simple. But on the Mac, you need to know a couple extra steps. It's not too many extra. And I'm going to show you hands down the easiest way to zoom in and out right off the bat. That's by holding control and option while you click, hold and drag with your mouse. I'll show you how. But on top of that, I'll show you all the many other ways that you can zoom in and out. Because again, I think this is a fundamental thing to know. So you can get in close when you need to. Zoom out when you need to. It's just makes life so easy navigating the application. So let's dig into it. All right, on screen, I have a record that I mixed. I'm not at liberty to share the audio with you, but I can share at least what's going on on screen. And this is perfect because as you can see, I've mixed seven songs for this record in the same project. So obviously a lot going on and I need a dead simple way to get in and out of various areas of the project. Of course, we could go to the mouse tools at the top and I could assign my mouse as the zoom tool. But honestly, I don't think either of us have time for that. Or I could press T on my Mac's keyboard to bring up the mouse tool, and I could just press Y to bring up the zoom tool. But honestly, that's an extra step again that I don't want to fuss with. So as I stated at the top of this video, the easiest way, hands down, to zoom in and out of any area of Logic Pro is to hold Control and Option to instantly turn the mouse cursor into the zoom tool. With these two keys held, you can instantly zoom in and out of anywhere in your projects. So while holding control and option, I'm gonna click, hold, and drag over an area of my project. And just like that, I zoomed in on these tracks of my drum recording. Now check it out. I'm going to continue to hold control and option. And just know, if I select this area of this one track, I zoom in on just the kick track. Now to zoom back out, I just need to hold control and option and just click. Not click, hold, and drag a box over any area, you just click. I'm gonna now click, hold, and drag over the kick and the snare. Awesome. Click to zoom out. Now click, hold, and drag over three tracks, the kick, the snare top, and the snare bottom. That is how simple it is to zoom in and out. Please, just, this is all you need to know. Just commit to memory, hold control, hold option, click, hold, and drag to zoom in, click, without the drag to zoom out. That's the whole video. That's all you need to know to get in and out of anywhere in Logic Pro. For example, if I select my kick track and press E to open the editor in the track here, I'm gonna hold command and press the left arrow to zoom out and I can hold control and option, click, hold and drag to zoom in in the editor, right? And then you just click to zoom out. And this applies to any editor. I have my region empty locked, so Smart Tempo is not available, but here in the file editor, you can zoom in. The same applies for the piano roll, for MIDI, the score editor, and the live loops grid. Now, folks who are very familiar with this functionality may say, Chris, you don't have to hold control at all. You just need to hold option. And they would be correct some of the time. For example, if I hold option, I still get the zoom tool. I'm not holding control at all. So check it out, if I zoom in on my toms here, I zoomed in just by holding option. But here's the problem by committing only option to memory for zooming. And that is, while I hold option, yeah, I get the zoom tool in this empty area of the tracks area, but as soon as I hover my mouse over a region or event, the mouse cursor changes from the zoom tool to the copy and paste tool. That's why I suggest that you commit control and option to memory. All right, with the best option out of the way, let's go through the other options you can use for zooming in and out if you so choose. Another way that you could is through gestures of the trackpad and magic mouse. So by holding option, if I start to run my finger on my Apple magic mouse down, I start to zoom in vertically. And all I have to do is hold option. And if I run my finger towards the top of the mouse, I zoom back out vertically. While holding option, if I scroll my finger on my magic mouse to the left, I zoom out horizontally. And if I run my finger to the right while holding option, I zoom in horizontally. 
The zoom is focusing on this selection right here, this region that has been selected on my floor tom track. If I deselect it using my mouse cursor, I just click anywhere that's not a region. I've deselected this. Check it out. Now, if I zoom out, if I run my finger to the right to zoom in, the focus will zoom in on the playhead, right? So if I place the playhead here and I have my mouse way over here to the left, but if I start running it to the right, I zoom in on the playhead here, right? So you either focus on the playhead or a selection. So I'll make a selection with the marquee tool over there and start to run it. And you can see it's honing in on the front end of my marquee selection or this region selection. Now, the other thing you can do with your magic mouse or trackpad is hold control and option and watch this. I'll recenter everybody, control and option, start to scroll and it scrolls in both directions, horizontally and vertically, which is pretty cool. And it's focusing again on this selection. If I deselect, we start to focus on the playhead. And you can do it very quickly. You might actually like this better. And all you have to do is run your finger on the trackpad, magic mouse up or down to get the scrolling effect in both directions while holding control and option. Next is the vertical and horizontal zoom sliders in the upper right hand corner of various areas of Logic Pro. We're working our way backwards into territory where I don't think you really should spend a lot of time thinking about. Just commit control and option to memory while clicking, holding, and dragging with the mouse. But you can use these. So just by clicking, holding, and dragging, we zoom vertically, either in or out, horizontally, in or out. You could also use key commands, holding command on your Mac's keyboard. You can press the left or right arrows to zoom in or out horizontally, up or down to zoom in or out. But as you can see, this is a slow moving process and the sliders, while are much faster, is not as convenient as the zoom mouse tool. There are also these auto zoom buttons in the upper right hand corner, which will zoom out completely to show you everything in your project from top to bottom, left to right. Now, if we flip to a different project, we're going to take a look at the Live Loops Grid. This is the Hardwell Live Loops Grid. The artist Hardwell has a producer pack that was released not too long ago for Logic Pro. And I just want to show you, you can use this control option, click, hold, and drag in any area in Logic Pro that allows you to zoom in and out, such as the Live Loops Grid. So if I hold control and option while click, hold, and drag, I can zoom in. Look at that. Once again, control and option, click, zoom out. And this also can occur in the audio editor here. Beautiful. Or if we zoom in and select something that is MIDI based, open the piano roll, same thing. Or if we flip to the tracks area where I dragged every live loop into the tracks area, if I select the MIDI region again, open the score editor, control and option, click, hold and drag. Oh yeah. Smart Tempo Editor, let's analyze. Control and Option, click, hold, and drag. That's how awesome zooming is in Logic, and honestly, how essential this functionality is when working in Logic Pro. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, as always, please subscribe to Wide Logic Pro Rules here on the channel or on the website. And please be sure to check out the description below where I always include links to PDFs, guides, and templates to help you in your journey with Logic Pro. Thanks so much, and I'll talk to you later. Take care.